let's leave that one long, okay? The the grinder will grind that up. The city's grinder. So we're back from our Arkansas trip. It's Saturday now. We've been back since Thursday. Got back Thursday afternoon. Everything's very green here in Texas. Everything's starting to leaf out. And this, these peach trees down here got hammered by, I don't know, I, I guess it was probably the drought last year. We didn't keep them watered well enough. And they just, they got hurt by it. I had to hack a lot of this one. So much hacking. The tree has totally kind of lost its shape. And this native plum down here, I forget what type of plum it is, but it it is like two thirds dead. You gotta cut two thirds of these big branches off. Do you wanna cut that other branch off too, Otis? This one's all dead. No, not this was the only one living. Cut, cut that one off. There we go. Otis. on for oh, about six months with this chainsaw. It's really good after it. He's a strong kid, so. Oh, it's just now starting to rain. I'm going to put this thing up. We're going to get these bucked up real quick and take them to the curb for the city to, to mulch. So I kind of forgot where I was at. I Saturday, I believe. I pruned these up and it started raining. And so we ended up having to shut that down. I've still got to do a bit of pruning on these trees over here. But I got that fig pruned up pretty well. It's a nice bush. There goes Mama and Otis and Hugo to the park. So we've got an apricot tree here that had a couple more main trunks, but it half the tree we had to cut out last year but it's got quite a bit of pruning to do it's just now flowering and we got this mimosa volunteer right next to it I thought it looked really pretty so we kept it and these figs I'm gonna start pruning it all I pruned the heck out of the front ones the peaches and Plum. Yeah, this this tree's got a lot of scraggly shoots that gotta come out. Yeah. The apricot too. Oh, yeah. Not scraggly, but it needs some needs some work. Did you guys do a run? We did. And Otis rode his bike uphill the whole time and it was really hard. And he finished. Nice. And he just a little bit of cry cry? Uh, a lot of cry cry. I'm just going to do a little video so you can see my pace. Now this, this right here would actually be a good tree. I don't see any nematode damage. We have a problem with root knot nematode here. I don't think I'm going to save this for my buddy. I'm going to put it in my water. So that was very thoroughly pruned. You can see all the wood I took off of it. Most of it was dead. Some of it was still a little green. But I tried to get the branches thinned out where they can all get some better light. It's all back off of my driveway here. And it came out pretty good. I just got 
I'm gonna do this one. This one wasn't near as bad with the the sap saplings coming up. And then that apricot needs a bit pruned off of it. Any crossing branches. A couple more to do. But that's what I was gonna show. He goes first steak. What is this, New York strip? <laughs> Got a big piece to chew on and he likes it. He likes it a lot. Soaking up the juices. Hey! <laughs> Locked on. Target acquired. <laughs> Good morning, Maggie here. It is the day before spring and we're gonna do some spring cleanup. Early spring cleanup. Well, whenever we were been farming, we didn't have a lot of time to do, to keep things clean and organized. So we end up with piles like this. <coughs> All good materials, but not good enough to keep if you're gonna sell your property. And I've got some other stuff around here. There's some deck, deck materials. I've got the stakes that I use for the concrete path. And I hate throwing stuff like that away. It's good, you can reuse it, but it's gotta get going. Maybe he's focused. I'm gonna set him over here. So he can warm up in the sun. You can warm up in the sun, buddy. So the reason I set everything out front was because my neighbor was gonna want some of this stuff. So I, I just moved it out there so he could see it. He grabbed what he wanted, then I took the rest of the dump. Well, I just had just enough. I could have, I could have not come to the dump. I don't know if you can see it, but probably could have put some of this out on the curb and people would have taken it and then burned the rest. I didn't want to burn any treated wood though. I'm sitting at the dump, been sitting here, I don't know, 30 minutes at least. They've been lollygagging with this machine trying to push push things over. He's just going on slow mode for sure. I hate waiting. Waiting to dump? Come on. And I was number two car. This guy. I talked to him already. He came up here at Micah and he doing a fencing project and he just got a little bit of stuff to dump, not very much at all. Same thing with me. And it must be a new driver or something because he's slow. Slow poking. Alright, so he seems to be moving a little bit faster than that machine. I don't know if they switched operators or what. This guy is actually moving things around. Some action, action happening. I see action. So I finished up with the spring cleanup. Found this metal. Otis helped me clean off the metal. And I ended up keeping that for a bit of a roof. But now I see it kind of splashing back over there. I don't really want that. So I need to see if I can scoot it out. Either that or I'll cut it. I don't really want to cut it because it's full sheet a full sheet, about five feet long. So I'll see if I can skip it over one and that'll probably quit happening. 
also put down mulch over here for the for the drips it was getting a bunch of splash back but that mulch is going to help it stay nice and intact Got all kinds of stuff going on did the same on this side Got my fruit trees all pruned up. And I don't know if I need to, I'm trying to sell this firewood. Nobody's won it. It's already late March, so. But yeah, this, this project's all done. Got the extra stuff taken to the dump and I took all the metal to the metal recycling there in Fulton's. On to the next thing. I just just cleaned out the gutters, cleaned out the AC, uh, the outside unit, making good progress. <laughs>